hit OK, and you should be good to go. I think. Let me double check what that took. Nope, I missed a step. <laughs> <laughs>
uh, it's kind of hidden behind this scroll bar and hit create virtual disk. Then it's gonna have you check the confirm box and hit yes. Operation has been performed successfully. <laughs> Now if we back out to our configuration utility menu again and check our virtual disk management section, it'll show us that our RAID 5 is ready. So in this section, we're gonna be importing a foreign configuration. Uh, this is typically when you're moving drives from one server to another, uh, or even just from one RAID card to another. Um, typically, uh, Dell Systems will allow you to do this, but between generations, it can get a little hairy, so make sure you talk to one of our knowledgeable tech staff or uh, sales staff, and uh, they'll be able to confirm uh, the supported nature of whatever your project is. Uh, we're gonna go in to our configuration management section, manage foreign configuration, and here it'll let you preview what is actually detected on the disk you've just put into your system. In this case, I've got a RAID 1 uh, on two two terabyte drives, uh, and then I'll just hit import foreign configuration, It'll have me check the confirm checkbox and hit yes. Operation has been performed successfully. So now we'll just go back, check our virtual disk management, and we'll see that our RAID 1 is present and ready. So those are some of the more common questions we get about RAID, but if you have other questions, feel free to call our experienced sales staff or tech support team, and they should be able to get any questions you have answered.